But before all that, an incredible story now. It's a story of a sheepdog named Pero, who, after being sent 240 miles away to work at another farm, decided to take matters into his own, well, paws. Uh, Pero's owners, uh, Alan and Sean James, join us live from their home in Penrhynhoch in Wales to, uh, to tell us more. Good morning, Good both. Morning. This is an extraordinary story. So can you explain, Good first of all, why, why Pero was given to another farmer? Um, yeah, it was just that an inquiry had came, come through that um, they wanted to, a dog that was happy to work with a bike and gather sheep. And that's what Pero enjoys doing back here with us. And we sent Pero up to Cockermouth to, for them to try him out. We should point out that uh, Pero is, uh, it's, is a, is a work, working dog. These are not pets. No, no, he's a working sheep dog, yeah, yeah out 24-7. And so outside. you travelled the 240 miles to Cockermouth to drop Pero, Pero off. And then sadly on the 8th of April you get a phone call to yes. say that he's gone missing. That's right, yes. And we sort of thought nothing of it at the time. Um, we knew he was microchipped, so if anybody caught him or brought, you know, got hold of him, they would have contacted us. Um, or we just said to the gentleman that, oh, he'll turn up or he's watching you somewhere. But no, Pero did, has not shown face up in Cockermouth since. So 12 and days so we later. Saw him last Wednesday. Yeah, 12 days later, yes. 240 miles, which works out he would have had to have done 20 miles a day. He found his way back. To home. Do you have any he was idea? On the doorstep at home at... How? How did he do it? No. We've no idea, no, no idea whatsoever. Total shock, mystified by it, real mystery. What but, was it like when you, know, you opened the door and he was... somebody's going to turn up and say. Yeah, when you opened the door and he was there yeah, well, on, it was on the doorstep. Yeah, opened the door. He was sitting on the doorstep. Yeah. And nobody had called that evening to say that he brought him back or nothing. He, he was, I went in for supper and he was there when I came out sitting on the doorstep. And there is a possibility Jumping that maybe somebody had read his microchip that they'd managed to get the information scanned it somehow and found your address and taken him there but i mean you'd think they'd knock on the door and say here's your dog we found him you got chipped or exactly. there'd be a process once a yeah. dog was taken to a vet they'd scan the chip then it would be in the system and they'd contact you first so it's just a complete mystery yeah indeed mystery yeah indeed it is quite if he has succeeded in this it's quite phenomenal so we've got, to, we've got to ask now if anybody uh, over the past few days yes. uh, recognises Pero here and, uh, and helped, helped him on his well way. Fed. He was well-fed, he wasn't Oh, yeah, well fed him because he wasn't weak, he wasn't hungry. Um, so, so he's either, you know, he should be in, like, the new lassie, um, having looked after himself. I would bound. Or someone's, someone's helped. Well, if anybody has seen him on the on his journey home, yeah, we would very much like to hear from them. And it's, he's now staying with you. It's a mystery to us. He's home now. You're going to keep him. You obviously he obviously loves stay it there. He in Cork. He's right. home. Good. Good to hear it. <laughs> Thank That's you lovely. very much. This is a remarkable yeah. dog. What, Nicole, what a story he has got to tell, eh? He's like that looking up at the yeah. sun. <laughs> Just all happy. <laughs> Thank Lovely you guys. to speak Thank to you very today. much indeed. Thank you, Pero. Thrilled to be home. Where's he been, that naughty yeah. dog?